often complain of head pressure when they have C1, C2 instability. So you can see here a couple things. You can see this is C2 uh, and this is C1. And this is the transverse process of C1. And they're gonna squirt some contrast here into the internal jugular vein. So you can see here, boom, they just uh, squirted the contrast, but the contrast is gonna stay up here and not flow downward like it's supposed to. So it's getting hung up there on C1. And that's because of the C1, C2 instability. The C1 transverse process is coming too far forward. So it's getting hung up right there. And then you're gonna see as this guy turns his head, watch this whole line here. You're gonna see it, it's pretty quick, but you'll see it open up and then flow downward. Boom, it just opened up and all flowed downward. So what does this guy need? Well, he's gonna get a PICL procedure. He has an internal alar ligament issue. He doesn't need any surgery at this point. Certainly doesn't need a styloidectomy, which will destabilize his spine and cause the C1, C2 instability to get worse. And this is a common problem that we see. It didn't really need to be diagnosed because we were gonna stabilize his C1, C2 anyway, but it is a really beautiful demonstration in real time. And that's very easy to see what happens in C1, C2 instability patients when they turn their heads. And 